Welcome back to Full Circle with Mikali. A very good morning to you where you're watching us from uh, this morning. Triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our SMS line. Thank you so much for all the feedback that you've been sending on... <clears throat> On our SMS line, I see you, I see you, and so much love for the couple that was in studio earlier on. And this is just a continuation of, you know, relationship and family. And just before we get into it, please, let's run the bumper. We're talking about rebuilding your self-esteem after a toxic relationship and having this conversation with us is Lizzie Kamonda. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. And you look really good, bright Thank colors. You. you know me, I'm a easy. Wakamba to Koivi too. So I can relate. You can relate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're but you're looking awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I highly appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, we're talking about, you know, rebuilding your self-esteem after yeah. a toxic relationship. But just before we even get to rebuilding yourself. Yeah. You know, identifying that this is, I mean, this was a toxic relationship. Yeah. People say nowadays we throw around the word uh, toxic yeah. at everything and anything. Yeah. But what does that, what does it mean for it to be toxic? Uh to my understanding, a uh, toxic relationship, it's a relationship that is not healthy. Mm. Something that is not healthy for you. Something that, uh, that, that is uh, draining you. Mm. A partner that every time you're with th this person, um, it's like you are choking in the relationship. You know, it's not, uh, it's not something that you're so happy to be mm. inside, mm. but it's something that uh, it's, it has completely taken you out. It yeah. has completely taken, it's like you have been swallowed up with the whole thing. I believe that is the meaning of toxic, being in a toxic thing, you know. It, it drains, it drains you, you more than it fills you yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. So every time you're spending time with this person, mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Sitaki. I'm telling you, you're like, when you leave that person, you're like, oh my God, it's like you've done a very hard work because it's like it have drained you. Like a small strength that you had, it's, it have completely gone. Mm. And you're like, now you have to go and fill yourself because this person, they, at no time, this is not someone that comes in your life and like he's building you, but it's someone, somebody that is taken completely from you. Mm -hmm. So it's something that you're not happy, that you're not happy being in it, but yes. you're like, all right, maybe there is no way for me. So let me just be in it or mm. maybe probably you are already married and you're like all right let's just push on to it yes so that is the toxic relationship yes and sometimes what this does and that's why we're talking about building your self-esteem is because most of these toxic partners that will have they yeah. drain you of your self-esteem yes they drain you of your self-worth yes you do not know who you are exactly. and what you stand for anymore exactly and maybe that is that's the point where um, yes how yes. do you build yourself from that um, first of all you have to really because most of the people who are in toxic relationship they don't really know they are in a toxic relationship mm. they, they, the person doesn't really know the person that he's with or the person you have been with is a toxic person so first of all you have to identify the kind of a relationship I am in or the kind of a relationship I have been mm. inside was it toxic or is it toxic right now because there is no way you can be able to work on something or there is no way you can be able to run out of something that you have not yet identified what is the problem yeah. what is it that it's making what is it that is happening in this uh, relationship what is it that is taking away from me what is it all about it first of all you have to identify what is it a toxic relationship from there you can be able to know that uh, okay for real, this one, I don't think um, I'm entitled to be with this person. Mm -hmm. And from that perspective where you've already come to a place, to a time of uh, I've already accepted this person is toxic. Because majority of the people, they're in denial. The guy is toxic or the woman is toxic, but you're like, sometimes he beats you and you're like, yeah, he beats you because he loves me. So, you know, there are people mm. who believe like that. Mean you mean uh, Ama, uh, that is how he, he, he reacts. Shows. Yeah, that's how he reacts when, because of the love that he has for me, that's how he shows it up. So at the end of the day, you are building a very big wall. You are defending this person. So at the end of the day, you're not able to be able to identify that you need to, you need to work on yourself. You need to run away from this. You mm. need, there is a problem. You need, first of all, to identify there is a problem. Because when you understand there is a problem, then I believe you're ready to work on it. Mm. From there, you're ready to, to be like, all right, I think this is a place that this whole thing have reached me. And from there, you're in a place to make a sober decision. 
okay, I think I need to rebuild myself. And how do you rebuild yourself? You need to surround yourself because you see toxic people, most, most of the things that they do to you, they, they make you lose your self-esteem. Mm. You know, they rubbish you down. They show you you're good for nothing. You're, that, you, you, you're not good enough. Mm. So at the end of the day, there is this thing that you feel like, you know, you are, you know, you are feeling, oh yeah, this is, you know, you're just feeling oh yeah for yourself and mm. all those things. Eh? But you need to face the reality. You need to surround your circle with people that built you yeah because if you're not if you have not yet built your self-esteem you cannot be able to walk out of this thing you need to understand that you need to be treated better mm. you need to understand what you need in a relationship you need to know what do i really need in a relationship mm. what what kind of treat am i expecting from a relationship and in that perspective when you put it down you will be able to check does this man treat me like this do i really need to be treated like this from there you're in a place to say like no i think i need a better i need a better life i need to be treated in a better way mm. i need to be treated a better way i don't think this is how i need to be treated like Okay. Yeah. And you know, most of the times when they even um, put you down, yeah. remember when they call you out and call you bad names or they treat you badly, yeah. uh, it is because the, they will frame it, you did this. Yes. Ni kwa sababu hau kufanya hivi. Yes. Ni kwa sababu kona mdomo kubwa. Ni kwa sababu you are hard-headed. Exactly. So you start believing these things. And yes. if you are a loud, happy person, yes. sasa, you, I'm telling you. You get withdrawn. We, we get, you get withdrawn. You, 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 you are like, uh, you, you're no longer with people, mm. you're on your own. Mm. Actually, that is a place you, you, you know, you, you really try to work on yourself. Yeah. You really try to do things that please this person. At the end of the day, you find like you've completely lost yourself because you're trying to do things to please him. Whereas the person that you're trying to please, you know, is like uh, whatever you do, everything you do, that is how toxic people they are. Yeah. Whatever you do, it's wrong. At no time you do anything that will appreciate it. But everything that you do, you do it wrong. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you really try so much to do what you think that it can be able to work on, to work on the relationship and all those things. So at the end of the day, you really lose yourself because you you know you are really climbing the ladder to see like maybe probably I can be able to get to that place where I'm expected to get. So at the end of the day, when you look back, you you're you like, that is where. You know, that is the first step I took. Yeah. And it's so far. When you look at it, it is very far. The, the first step you took to start climbing the ladder. Mm. It's so far. And mm. you're like, I don't know even how to go back there. Mm. I don't know how even to find myself anymore. Mm. You cannot even find yourself. You've completely lost yourself. Oh, my goodness. And it really, really take for you to be really to be determined like i'm really ready to work on this i am really ready to rebuild myself yeah you need to surround yourself with people you need to do things that you were not able to do before yeah in, because in that toxic relationship the, the, you, you, everything is taken away from you you loved you used to love going to the movies you used to love uh visiting people you love the, uh, there are things that you love before. Used to do. You used to do mm. before. But immediate, immediately you get into the relationship with this guy, all those things you put them down. They were taken away. They were from taken you. away from and you. And now you do not have a place to go to. You don't have any to place go to go recharge, exact, exactly. to enjoy your time. Exactly. If you like to paint, you're mm -hmm. not doing it anymore. If you like to act, you don't do it anymore. Exactly. So you are. You are feeling empty at Completely this point, but empty. it's okay because mm. you've chosen to walk away now mm -hmm. and to rebuild yourself. Exactly. And that is what we're talking about. We're taking a very short commercial break. We will be right back with Lizzie Kamonde. Welcome back to Full Circle with Mukali. We are talking about you rebuilding your self-esteem after getting out of a toxic relationship. Now, we've already established what toxic is and what that situation takes from you. So you're left at this particular point. But how do you build yourself up again from that? And Lizzie, you, you were taking us through this. Yes. Um, and I was saying that, uh, first of all, you need uh, to identify what are you good at. What are the things that you l used to love to do most before, but you've, uh, you've completely lost your place and yeah. you don't have your place anymore? You need to go back and find yourself again. 
you need to find yourself again. You need to go back from the place where you lost it and start picking back your pieces again. Start building yourself again. You used to love going for movies. Yes. Start going for movies. You used to love because when you're in a toxic relationship, it reaches a place you can't even do your hair. Mm. You can't even dress the way you feel. Mm. You need to dress the way you feel like you're loved. You need to dress the way you feel you feeling good. You know, you need to do things that they, they, they define you. You need to do, you need to go, uh, and, and in most cases, you need to even to go for gym. Mm. Because sometimes when you're working out, you know, those, you know, uh, and you're like, maybe probably you have added your weight and now like you're working yourself out. That is a place you start admiring yourself again. Because the moment you start admiring yourself, because when you're in a toxic relationship, in that perspective, you've completely lost even yourself. You, you look, you go in the mirror, you look at yourself and you're like, you know, that? Who, who is this? Mm. And you feel like you cannot even attract anybody else. Okay. So you need to build yourself to a place that you know that uh, you can come back again. Yeah. Start, start focusing on yourself because all this while you've been focusing on someone else. Now at this point, love yourself, focus on yourself, invest on yourself. The things that you had put paid in before. And you had said that maybe this one I cannot do it mm, right now. Mm. Start picking those. If it's, is it school that you really wanted to go at go that particular back. time? Go back to school. The things that you really wanted to go, but because of this person who came in your life, you're not able to pursue those things. Start doing those things. Because it is from there you'll be able to build your self-esteem. It is from there you'll be able to be appreciated. It is from there you start mingling with people. The people that you're disconnected with. Start going back to those people. Because surround your circle with people that talk senses to you and they can be able to tell you the truth mm. surround with, with your people that appreciate you whatever you do because at this point uh, at this particular time the self-esteem is completely gone so you feel like there is nothing that you can do that make any sense mm. but when you surround yourself with people that cheers you up every small thing that you do they are che you know that is how you are able to be like oh my god i know i can be able to do it so i can be able to do it because you have been in a place when you know nothing you can be able to do but at this point you are with people they are telling me you can be able to you do, can it. do it you can do it yeah you 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 dress yourself you go to the mirror and you're like oh my god i can look good yeah. go do your nails go do whatever you have never done before start loving yourself again because it is until you love yourself Mwikali, nobody can be able to love you. That's true. It is until you find you, you, you find your purpose in life. And let me tell you, I always talk so much about purpose because the moment you, you know your purpose, nobody can just drag you to the mud. No. Nobody can just do whatever he feels like an, the, the person can do to you. Mm. The moment you define what am I good at, let me go for it. However, it might not be working in the beginning, but let me go for it. I am focused. This is what I'm going for. Build yourself, build yourself and detach yourself. Detach yourself from this person. Because let me tell you, sometimes we say like, I'm moving out. Mm -hmm. But the moment you go to your WhatsApp and like you have to start looking for his picture <laughs> or her picture or you go to the Facebook and you're like okay I'm out but uh, you still want to you know you still want to appear in their lives yours because you cannot be able to heal and I always tell people when you completely say goodbye to a relationship even let me tell you people say blocking somebody is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, is immaturity but I think it helps to block them. Yes. But you know, I want closure. Th that closure, that, that closure, that is what have really made so many people be in a place for the longest time. Because for real, you really know this is not what I want. But you're like, all right, let me go for the closure. The moment you go there, and because this person knows you, he knows, he knows where he touches you. Mm. He knows your weaknesses. He knows what he can be able to do to you mm -hmm. and be able to retrieve you back to the place you used to be. And that is why the moment you really recognize this is a toxic relationship, you don't need a closure. No, you don't. You don't need. Mm -hmm. You don't need. You just need to walk away. Mm -hmm. You just need to make up your mind. I don't think I deserve this. I think I deserve to be treated better. I think I deserve a better life. And because of that, I think I'm going to close this chapter. Mm -hmm. You don't need to, you don't need a closure you just need to make up your mind and like this is it this is what I'm going for 
this is what I'm going for. And because I'm done. because the moment you say it's a closure, because that is especially for ladies. <laughs> for ladies, we are the people, we are like because you still feel like, yeah, there is that kind of thing you're still feeling and you're like, I don't know. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, he's not good, but I'm like, I can, we can try to manage it. Mm. And that is a place you say that it's, uh, you're going for closure. That's the end of you. Because in most cases, in that place, however you have really, and you're like, I'm out. Th this is someone that you have been together for the longest time. Yeah. This is somebody that you've done so many things together. Mm. So the, uh, you, you should understand this person doesn't want to let you go. No. He's the one who is toxic, so he doesn't want to let you go. So he wants to hold you down there. So the moment you say you go for closure, the, guy, the person knows or the woman knows what you, your weaknesses is, mm. where he can be able to touch you and for you to be able to go down. And the moment he does that to you mm -hmm. there is no way you can be you can be able to say you're going for closure you'll find yourself going through the same same circle again and again again and again the same same thing is taking place and you can be in that relationship even for the longest time saying i am ending it I'm i know it's it. not mm. i know it's not ending anywhere you're mm. very sure mm. but you're like you find yourself even after some longest time you'll still, you're still find in yourself that particular space. you're still in that spot mm, yes that's sad yes but it happens and that's why it we're happens. having this conversation yes uh, let's talk about moving on yeah so you you're out of this toxic relationship yeah. on a tango rebounds yes uh you're out you're working on yourself and all of that yes what would be your opinion or thoughts around you know jumping into another relationship um and uh, it's really happened so much because at that particular time you feel, you know, that time you're looking for l to be loved. You're mm -hmm. looking for recognition. Mm. You're looking for somebody who can be able to give you a shoulder to lean on. You're looking for somebody to be able to approve you. You're looking for somebody who can be able to bring you in because you're in a place you're so vulnerable. You're in a place where, where you're like you're trying to find yourself. And that is a place that so many people make a lot of mistakes. Mm. Because you're like, okay, Johnny, aqua mzuri. So watcha, watcha niende kwa. Somebody else may treat I, me better. I, I, may treat me better. Mm. And in the first place, you've not healed. Okay. You've not healed. You've not yet healed out of this relationship. So you're still wounded. There is so much fresh wounds inside your heart. So the moment, because what you're trying to do, you're trying to cover up the wound. Yeah. That is what you're trying to cover. Instead of treating. Yes. You're trying to cover up with the, the wound so that you can be able to have this other person. So you will not feel the whole thing. You know, you will not feel the breakup or whatever because you have this other guy here. Mm. So at the end of the day, you realize that you jumped in a relationship when you are sick. You're completely sick. And you find along the way you find like you are in another toxic relationship because in the first place, you did not even study the person mm. that you have gotten in with. Mm. You've not gotten the person because you're so desperate for love. At that particular time, you just wanted somebody to tell you, I love you. At that particular time, you just wanted somebody to tell you, wow, you know, because you have not been told mm. this word for the longest time. And here it is, someone is telling you, like, I love you. Here it is, someone is treating you the way you want to be treated. And there it is, you have jumped into it. So at the end of the day, you realize after down the line, because of course, the person have already gotten you. So uh, it cannot be treating you or she cannot be treating you the way in the first, in the beginning, the person was treating you. Mm. And here it is now, the reality hits on you like this, another toxic, I am in another toxic, toxic relationship, relationship yeah. because you are not healed. Mm. And that is a place that you need to be healed. When you have gone through, when you are out of a toxic relationship, you need to take time out. You need to take time out of yourself, with yourself. You need to have time with yourself, love yourself, do the things that you need to do for yourself, discover who you are. And that when you're in the rightful mindset to make decision, because at this particular time, you're not in the rightful mindset. You're not emotionally stable mm. to be able to know what do I really need in a mm. relationship. You're not stable. And that is a place you need to take your time out. Like I've given myself time up to this time. 
I'm not getting into any relationship. Let me evaluate myself. Let me really know what I really want in a relationship. Yeah. Let me really know what I want in a woman. Mm. Let me really know what I want in a man. So that when that next person comes in my life, I can be able to know what are the qualities of a person that I need in my life. How am I supposed to be treated? That's what are the true. things that I need to put into place in a relationship? Yeah. But the moment you are completely, uh, you are completely uh, damaged inside, and here it is, you've gotten somebody, and you feel like maybe that is your healing place for mm. you. But you find yourself, you're damaging yourself more, and that is why you find like there is a lot of circles of so many people. You're from one toxic relationship, you've not even gotten any break. You are in another, another one, one, and yeah. after that one, because and again, people want to prove there is a point you want to prove. Nili move on. Yes. Suliniacha. <laughs> Nili pata jama. And uh, nikosawa. You know, there is a point that you want to prove. At the end of the day, you find like you're not proving any point to anybody. Mm. But let me tell you, you are damaging yourself. You're doing yourself a very big danger for your life and for your future. That's so true. Yes. And when you expect people to treat you better than the exactly. other person, it's how you treat they yourself. If you do not love yourself exactly. enough, then there's no way they will treat you with love or respect because exactly. you're not giving that to yourself. Exactly. And that is what you learn mm -hmm. when you've taken time off. And again, this person uh, knows very well um, where you've come from. Mm. So uh, in the first place, the person will even take advantage of you. It knows very well what we are looking for. Mm. You're looking for love. You're looking for this. You're looking. So the person will be able to speak to you the language that you want to hear. At the end of the day, you find you're in another big mess than even the mess that you had before. That's true. Yeah. You know, some people will be like, um, maybe you've given up on the relationship too fast, or maybe yeah. oh, you're too selfish and stuff. Especially when you talk, when you get out of a toxic relationship yeah. and take time to take care of yourself. Yeah. And it might be borderline. I ni kama umtu anajipenda sana. Yeah. But it's not like that. It's because it's, I have learned how yeah. or what I deserve and what exactly, I'm worth. Exactly. Exactly. I've learned what I deserve. Mm. I don't think to be treated anyhow. Mm. I've, I've, I've loved myself so much that mwikali I will not allow anybody to come and treat me anyhow. I know how I'm supposed to be treated. So if you can't treat me like that, mm. then I cannot. Yeah. I cannot take it. Yeah. This is who I am. So if you can't take me, then I'm sorry. I'm sorry, because it is in that place where you're like, no, let me try to uh, put down my, 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 my boundaries. Mm. And that is where you find like you have really accommodated everybody to come in your space. Yes. Everybody have come in your space. Mm. And now they are treating you the way they feel they should treat you. And that is a place, let me tell you, it is not, it is not, uh, 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 it is not that you, it is not pride. Yes. But it's because you have known who you are. You have raised standards for your life. You know what you're going for and that is what you're going for. So Absolutely. you don't just accommodate any nonsense things to come in your space. That's so true. And let me tell you, in that, when you put that boundary, anyone that comes in your life, anyone that really even wants to come close to you, they know what they want. Yeah. They are not just coming anyhow. They are like, let me put my words well. If I'm going to Mwekari, I need to put my words well. Mm. I can't just mm. go and vomit whatever I feel like I can go and vomit to her. Yeah. But I need to put my, my words well because she's a nun is she's a non-nonsense nonsense. person mm. because you have put boundaries you have raised bars in your life and you know this is how i'm supposed to be treated i don't da just take any junk that come on my way That's i have so my true. standards i'm not afraid that i uh, time is going but i know my place and because i know my place i gonna attract what looks like me Absolutely. Yeah. You know, Lizzie, there are some people who are in such toxic relationships and they've been there for so long yeah. with children who have been exposed to the toxicity yeah. in all of that. And many, many years later, they find the strength and the courage yes. to walk away. Yes. Then what happens when they walk away after looking at all the damage that has been oh done to them and to the children, yes. they are not kind enough to themselves to forgive themselves. Yes. So they live their lives blaming yes. themselves yes. for having gone through that. Yes. But then there's no healing there. Yes, yes. And uh, you need to understand that uh, you're not a conqueror. You, you should not be so hard on yourself mm -mm. because these things, they happen. And you're not the first and you're not the last. Mm. And you need actually to appreciate yourself that you need to actually to call yourself your strong person. Yeah. You're not supposed to start feeling like why, 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 but you're supposed to call yourself a meeting and you're like, I'm strong. That I went through all that and I came out of it. And 
you need to out of that mess you need to like because sometimes uh, the mess that you've gone through you can make a message out of it mm. you can make it to become like you can be able to become a role model to someone else because you've gone out you you have gone through it and you have come out of it yes. but the moment you're there and you're like you start blaming putting blame on yourself mm. at the end of the day you find like you've not been able to do anything to yourself you you you've not been able to move on you are you are there and you're like oh my god you know you're in a place where you know it's toxic but you're like i wish he can you know maybe he can rethink and come back or maybe you still you're still there and you're like are you still in that mud and all that thing but you need to call yourself in a meeting and you're like all right i went through this but i will not allow myself to stop there mm. i know i have a great destiny ahead of me mm. i know i, ha I have a, 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 a greater future ahead of me mm. and that is why we are saying start be rebuilding yourself start doing things that you can be able to do so that when you do that you can be able to see the greater future ahead of you you can be able to see the greater things that you can be able to to do ahead yeah. not just be in that circle but see ahead what you can be able and take it easy by yourself and say yeah it happened but i was able to walk Move out on. of it and it's true i i i, I was in it but yeah. it didn't swallow me up because yeah. there's so many people it have swallowed yeah. There are so many people who have died in it but as for you you've been able to be able to move out of it so take it easy by yourself and build yourself to become a better person use that mess to become a message that's true yeah and instead of holding a pity party yeah just look at yourself as a winner as a conqueror exactly. as an example as a life lesson to people exactly. as well and use that to change other people's lives exactly and it is okay for you to understand that you yeah. can't change people exactly that you are in control of your life yes and the things that you do exactly you speak life to you mm -hmm. and situations around you yeah but you can't change you can't make them at not toxic. Yes. That's not your responsibility. Your responsibility is yourself, yes. not anybody else. That's true. That's, true. That's so true. Mm. Lizzie, thank you so much for coming. Thank this you is, so it's much. It's always lovely yeah. having these conversations. feels like we are hanging out. I know, I know, I um, know. How can people get in touch with you directly? Um, I'm, I'm on Facebook, Liz mm -hmm. Kamonde. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, on Instagram, Liz Kamonde. On YouTube, Liz Kamonde. Okay. Yes. Asante sana kwa kuja. Yes. We're taking a very short commercial break. We will be right back. This is Full Circle with Mikali.